Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is video number six. <laughs> I have been recording for I don't know how many hours, but um, I did a bunch of research today and pulled up a bunch of category videos for you guys because I haven't been doing category videos lately. Um, I just haven't had time to really sit down and research, and I took the time today to do that, and it's midnight, and I'm super tired, so my eyes are like, I'm trying to keep them open. They're a little heavy. So um, I apologize for that, but I have one more video that I want to do before bed. And this one is a bolo category video on girls, toddler and baby dresses. All right. So basically I'm going to show you some things to look for. I'm going to show you some brands that sell and some of these go for huge money. They're a big bolo items. You can buy low, sell high. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. It's very, very cool. So uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you can hit that thumbs up, that helps bump me in the search results and comments are wonderful. I don't care if you just write, hey, hello, I don't care, just comment. Um, I love it when you comment that you made it to the end of the video, comment something you learned. If you have a trip, trick or a tip about selling an item that I've talked about, share it. Any comments help and I appreciate it. So we're going to get started here. All right, so the first item is this vintage yellow floral dress. Um, I don't see a brand on this one. They're guessing it's from the 80s, so it's not super old. Um, this is a good way to take the picture. If you find one of these dresses, um, you can see how they have it showing that it's like a full circle. If you use full circle in the title, that's also going to help you. I mean, here it looks like a plain dress, and then you do this, and it looks a little bit fancier. Most of the pictures you're going to see have the dress like this, and I believe that that helps sell them. This sold for $287 with 68 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I don't know if people buy these for their kids, like in pageants or what, but they go for big money. Here's another one. Um, so this one has the Swiss dot and it's sheer and again you can see they have it displayed so that it looks like a circle um this one went for 255 dollars again i don't see a brand on this one either oh jill lynn but that's not a brand that i've heard of here's what the tag looks like so if it's vintage and it's frilly and it's pretty definitely um definitely grab it i was at a church sale and I typically don't have much luck at church sales, but this one, I saw a whole bag of um, vintage dresses and they're still sitting in the bag. I took them out and I looked at them. I never listed them. I put them back in the bag. I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. So they're still sitting down there, but I do think I had a couple um, good ones. I didn't pay much. I think I paid 10 bucks for the whole bag. It was a pretty good deal. Um, okay, so Martha's Miniatures. I think that might be one that I have, but um, you can see it's got the, the full circle look. Kind of. This is what the tag looks like. We're fussy. Super cute. I think this one's beautiful. The colors. Oh my gosh. It's like a little rainbow. It's adorable. But this one went for $516. That's amazing. $516 for a dress, a vintage dress. Definitely be on the lookout, guys. Here's another Martha's uh, Miniatures. And I'm, it looks like it's kind of yellowed. And it went for $455. Uh, but the tag looks new there. Like it doesn't look washed. Let's see. From local estate. Um, there are some issues. The sleeve elastic is stretched out. There are two spots where the ruffle has come unsewn not torn, but pulled away. There are some faint spots of yellowing on the white pinafore. So I'm guessing that's like this area. Okay, so you guys heard me read all the issues and this sold for $455 with 57 bids. And I think that mine might have had some yellowing and that's kind of why it's like, eh, I'll just list it later and I haven't gotten to it. But now I'm like, mm, maybe I need to go get that out. All right, here's another one. This is from the 50s, and it looks like they started the auction at, 
or whatever they started it at, but they were hoping to get a buy it now of 500, but it went for $270.88 with 57 bids. So these vintage girls dresses, I'm telling you, they're definitely something to be on the lookout for. And you know, like everything else, there's high solds and there's low solds. So I don't know if, I, I would say if you're going to auction one of these, that you started at the minimum bid you're willing to take. I wouldn't start it at 99 cents because you might get unlucky instead of lucky. So um, this one is a sweet and sassy peach colored dress, size large. Um, there's your tag. This one surprises me because I mean the pictures are not that great. It doesn't show like the full circle. I don't know. This one surprises me. It went for $385 with 20 bids. And turn the photo. I hate photos like this. It makes me crazy. Not really. I don't really. It doesn't really make me crazy. But you know what I mean. It's like, it's right there. You just hit the arrow and it turns the picture. I don't know what this is. Is this like food? I'm curious now. Is that like grapes? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, the next item. Okay, so this is how you do a picture. Look at this. How cool is that? I'm telling you, that's what sells it. The great pictures of the full circle. Um, $295. And this brand is called Small World. There's your tag. Okay, so this is Mary Lewis. And this one sold for $208.50. Let me see if I can find you guys a tag. There you go. Is it Louise? Mary Louise. Louise, not Louis. Louise. Super cute, right? Cute tag, too. Here's another one. Pizzazz. Again, you've got the skirt showing it in the first. I would have used this for my first picture. That's just me. And there you go. Pizzazz. $190, 51 bids. Okay, Oshkosh Bagosh. I just did a video on Best Facts. Um, if you have not watched this video, definitely go check it out. It's Oshkosh Bagosh items, and it tells you different things to look for. But these are dresses, vintage dresses, made in the USA. This one sold for $162.50. Here's another um, dress. This one is... Let's see the room. Oh, Lee, Leah Dean, or Leah Bean, Leah Dean, Leah Dean Originals. And this one's sheer. Is it flocked? It looks like it might be flocked. I don't know. Super cute. $152.50 for that one. Now, this one surprised me a little bit, but it went for $208 with 16 bids. And it's got the full circle, but it's just kind of plain, you know, there's nothing too like, overly fancy about it. And it still went for a lot. This one's cute. Um, Saucy Sue frocks, um, sheer dotted Swiss ruffles, baby dress. There's your full circle. Super cute. $104 for that one. Another Oshkosh Bagosh, $102.50. Here's another one, $100. And these are smaller. These are only 24 months. And you know, they're not going to use these for like pageants or anything. These are just casual dresses. Sell them for 100 bucks. This one's super cute. It only went for $96, but it's the Pizzazz brand again. And that one's really pretty. I'm surprised it didn't go for more. All right. This one's sheer, and it's flocked, and it's adorable. And it sold for $89. Very, very pretty. Mini World. Mini World. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a tag. Oh, we got some feet. Crop your feet out. Okay, that looks like it's stained. Maybe, maybe not. Why is this down here? Why does it say hello? It's weird. Anyway, this one sold for $72. All 
All right, here's three dresses. And these are just, you know, more kind of plain cotton type dresses. So definitely still something to maybe pick up. Three of them went for $51. If you can pick them up for a buck each, sell them for 51 for three, that's still a good bolo. And this one's a little strawberry shortcake apron, which is so cute. So always look for things with like characters and stuff on them because kids like characters and ca parents like to make their kids happy. So this one sold for $79 with five bids. All right, so down below in the description, comment and let me know, did you know that the baby and toddler dresses go for this much? I'm guessing if you're in my Facebook group, you've probably heard this before. Um, and then I think I've done some videos that may have featured certain dresses before, but um, yeah, definitely check out some of my other cate category videos. And then if you want to be featured, you can uh, message me in my Facebook group and I'll check out your store. Just send me a link. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and have a great night.